Hey guys, what's going on? It's Amy again with Bargain Mama. And I'm just on here really quick, probably the shortest Dollar Tree haul I've ever done. I'm sitting in my son's car because, again, we're in the middle of moving. Um, we had some people come look at our house today, so my husband had to use my car so that the dogs would have enough air conditioning because they're driving around for five hours. So, it's just been crazy. Crazy, crazy. I cannot wait to be able to focus on just my jobs and to be able to like shop again and to be able to do YouTube. I have not had a chance to sit down and actually read comments or even watch people's videos in I don't know how long. We have just been so, every second of our day has been consumed. But I did really quick stop on my way to see one of my patients because I kind of packed a lot of my work stuff, which I wasn't thinking. So I needed to pick up a couple of things. So again, this is gonna be a very quick haul. So first of all, these are not new, but guys, I have I have to like put it through the crack here, guys. Sorry, I might have to change the view. Um, again, I'm in my son's car. But um, so these are the beef and cheese jacklings. I have not found these. I cannot ever find them anymore. So I did pick up two of those, just real quick. Um, I did find, I mean, I'm gonna have to, oh my gosh, I might have to move everything. Anyways, I found this Flesh Revlon, and it says that it is a thick stick foundation shade, 0.16 ounces. Um, again, it's by Revlon, so I'm excited to try it. We'll see. Um, anyways, so I got that. Um, okay, so I did pick up these happy planners. Oh yes, guys. I found the happy planners. I'm not going to be able to leave you guys there. I'm going to have to move you, but I don't know how I'm going to move you. Um, let me, cause you're not going to, you might be able to see the stickers. Um, so anyways, this one right here, it's the watercolor happy planners. It says 1,078 stickers. Um, so you guys know how they get the 1,000, right? Like obviously we all know, um, they put in Sorry guys, give me a second. Like 5,000 of these little itty bitty stars, right? So anyways, but that's not why I got it. I got it because these are gonna be so cute in like some little journaling things. Um, it says happy mind, happy life, like every moment matters. I'm not going to use them in a happy planner. Unfortunately, I don't do a happy planner, but I just thought that some of these would be just so cute to like put into, um, like journals somewhere or into my little golden books or something. So I picked up this one. This one's like, uh, okay, it was cute. They had, um, so again, this one is called the watercolor, but this one was my favorite and this is what drew my eye. This one is the seasonal. Yeah, I'm trying to peek through the little thing. I'm so sorry guys, because like I said, if I, if I don't do this right now, I'm taking some stuff to my patient's house right now and I won't be able to do anything and I have no videos to show you guys. So Anyways, this one says seasonal, and this one is 1,557 pieces. But you guys, let's talk about how beautiful. Again, I'm not gonna use them for a happy planner, but how pretty. This one says it's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. Like, how cute are these going to be in like little junk journals? Of course, like a 100,000 of the little stars. But look at the fall ones, like roast s'mores read a book, the bats, the little um, corn things, candy corns. Yeah, look at, this one says visit a haunted house. These stickers are going to be absolutely beautiful. Like all the leaves that say hello fall that are outlined in gold. Um, I'm just looking, there was another one that really drew my attention. There's Easter, Valentine's Day, more Easter. Here's like, the summer bucket list guys it has i mean so yeah again guys like yeah it has all kinds of little um look at the hot dog so it has a oh wait this is one of the ants you guys see the ants so yeah it has a bunch of little stickers but it has a bunch of the bigger ones that are so cute so i did pick up this one again for like junk journals not for um any kind of um like journaling and like happy plannering because I don't do that. I need to do it, but I don't. And then I just wanted to show you guys. So I went through the books because there was, um, I wanted to find something, like I said, for me and my patients to do, but I found this. It says the festival at Sugar Ridge. So how pretty is this book? It is a green buyer book, but I love to do like a Candyland theme in my house for Christmas. So how cute will it be to like, pull these some of these pictures out 
and to put them like in a frame or to mod podge them onto something i was trying to find some of the other ones um for christmas like look at the little green cupcake like if you cut her out and put her like on something for like um for your christmas um best decorated cupcake there's that picture just so i really just love like all the little pictures this right here looks like obviously a candy land theme and then here's this one for like a candy land theme so you can put these on something um so it's just a bunch of different pictures that i'm going to cut out and put um in my kitchen or wherever for my candy land theme so yeah, I'll get to the ones I got my patients in a minute. Like I would, I found amazing stuff in the, um, in the book section. So this is the Disney princess and this is the hand lettering, create and color hand lettered framed pages. So first of all, can we talk about how beautiful these are, right? So those are pretty. I love the little mermaid. I love her, but you guys, let's talk about what's in here. I did get these for me also because I mean you could use them for your children or whatever so these are just like letters where you know you're just gonna follow the letters but that's not why I got them at all like I'll probably use those for my patients but let me show you these beautiful pictures first of all like this is pretty a beautiful page that you can cut out and put on something but again that's not even why I got it let me show you so here's another one the world is your oyster Again, no, even though it's beautiful, it's not why I got it. Find your own voice. So our new house will have a pool, so I'm going to do like a little mermaid thing outside in the pool just because I'm so excited. So this is just a beautiful frame that you can put on anything. Still, not why I got it, guys. Not why I got it. Let me show you why I got it. Look at this beautiful picture. That is a drop dead gorgeous picture to put into a junk journal or to do anything with. I mean, it is absolutely gorgeous. That picture is so gorgeous. And then here's another one that's not colored, but it's still just a beautiful drawing. I mean, they're so pretty, so pretty. Here's another one that is just a really pretty outline. I love The Little Mermaid. And then here is the last one. So these are so pretty and just so drawn out in beautiful colors. So I found another Disney princess and this one is Cinderella. So again, at the beginning, it has the, um, the writing to where you can write dream. You can copy over everything, slipper, anything they have. But here's this beautiful picture. It says dare to dream. Make your own magic. And you guys like, can you see like the colors are beautiful this is not generic again this is by disney princess so it's distributed by um yeah dream dream tibbity so it's 2021 disney enterprises so it's not by greenbrier this says c is for courage which is very very pretty still not why i got it this kindness opens every door look at this beautiful drop dead gorgeous picture of cinderella you guys I mean, oh, oh, it's so beautiful. So of course I had to get it to put on something. Here's another one. I mean, you guys, that is so beautiful of her putting her slipper on. The beautiful, um, so we go to um, Disneyland a lot. So how cute would that be just to put in like a Disneyland scrapbook? Even though I have boys, I mean, this is still Disneyland behind it. So look at this, this is not colored in yet, but this, the drawing itself is gorgeous. And then this is the last one. I mean, they're drop dead gorgeous. So of course, these are all so many different pages that I can pull apart. And again, I can use the front for my patients because it is about, um, you know, writing and handwriting and they can copy it. But at the same time, I can use the back part of this for journaling and stuff for a dollar, one dollar, one dollar. I'm so excited. So then I did pick up two books for my patients. So this one is called In the Wild. And it is distributed by Greenbrier, but this is going to help us learn our animals. So it's 150 stickers. So I can tell my patients like, okay, um, hand me the animal that says girl or whatever, or looks like this, or is this shape or is a tiger or whatever that is. And then this one says the insides of my legs are blue. So it's also learning and reading. It says, I am the world's largest rodent. I am a capybara. So just, and this is, I am a toucan and I have a hollow beak. 
so just this is literally the first page it says rainforest creatures and it says it's very hot in the rainforest and it rains a lot from the tops of trees to the bottom of the forest forest floor creatures of all shapes and sizes live here so the first page I can just do so much stuff in general like I can say like okay help me read this help me identify what letter this is I mean oh that's just one page I'm not gonna do all of them with you but here's another one and this is going to explain about what wild Africa has right um this is slippery snakes I absolutely hate snakes Ugh. so this tells you all about snakes all the stickers I mean you can say hand me the black and white one hand me the ones from Africa hand me whatever hand me what lives in water I have so many different things that you can learn just by this sticker book so anyways I got that for my patients and then here is a funny face sticker book and this one over 50 stickers and this is robots and this is good because um it looks like it's just robots so like why would they want to learn that but in a fun way we're learning like where do your eyes go where does your mouth go um how many eyes do we normally have here's a sticker with two eyes and here's a sticker with three eyes you know um or can you count the sticker with three eyes and give it to me can you give me the green eyed sticker um Let's see, I mean, just there's so many different things that you could do here. Um, can you hand me the pink lips? Um, I mean, just so many different things that they can learn, but fun, because let me tell you, sometimes I go to a patient's house, they're like, no, I don't wanna go to school today. And then you're like, oh man, they're really associating me with school because we're learning how to do things. So I have to really try to grasp at strings and pull at things to try to get patients to work with me and not think we're in school. So I think that's gonna be kind of fun. But guys, that's my haul. I know it's extremely small. I'm really sorry. I was so excited about the things I found. Uh, we put an offer in on a house again today. It'll be our fourth offer. And then um, we got um, two offers on our house today. So hopefully, like I said, in the next couple of weeks, things will be slowing down and I will be visiting with you guys a lot more. So I hope everyone is having a great day and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye YouTube.